the day started in such a good vibe and such a good tone. Um, I mean, the whole event up to that point for me has been such a big highlight. So luckily Twan saw that I'm actually not um, uh, taking my time. He helped me get my gear out of the water and then the workers who dig the channel, they helped carry me out of the channel. Those moments um, on the trailer, riding back, it felt exactly like that day that dislocated my shoulder. It was the same feelings, the same emotions, and it was almost unreal. Like I, I never thought I would have to go through that day again. Um, I, when I, when I went to Ludwig's this year, I was like, yes, you know, I don't have any injuries. I don't come out of rehab from any injury. I don't have any setback. This is the first time I can really push my body to to its maximum potential, not having to strap up ligaments, not having to hold back or be careful with a shoulder that's still halfway through recovery. Luckily, my dad is a doctor. A lot can go wrong at Ludritz. It's such a high impact sport. You always have um, that surety that he, he is there if something really bad happens. But it was really hard to keep it together in those moments because so much is going through your mind, coming to terms with everything. When you prepare for so long for something mentally and physically and suddenly all of that changes from, from it's like black and white. It does take it out of you for a few moments. So this happened on the Friday of week three of the event. My first Ludwig was in 2017 and this year was my fourth time um, competing at Ludwig. And so it really became a big part of my life and my windsurfing journey and my windsurf career. It's been a road with many many steep hills and we are still on that journey i've not reached the top of the hill the bigger goal you set the bigger challenge you partake in the more obstacles you will face along the way so there's never a point in time even after all the injuries at Ludritz, that i would say that i am laying down my sword and i'm giving up not a chance. It's all part of really putting up a high goal and, and accepting all the challenges along the way as though it is meant to be there. For an athlete, obviously, I think the most difficult time is always an injury because it not only sets you back for a big amount of time, it's a mental thing to overcome. Um, to get back out there and give it your best shot again. In, in 2018, when I dislocated my shoulder at Ludritz, um, it was the same thing, going back, doing the hard work, putting in the long hours, getting back through the rehab, improving with measurable amounts. And it's what keeps you going and motivated, is coming back and seeing, wow, you can actually go through these things. It's all in the mind. And even after that, the other shoulder dislocated while I was training for the next Ludritz and that in itself was also a journey on its own. It can't be an easy road. It doesn't work that way. Life doesn't work that way. So if it was an easy road there, it wouldn't be such a big accomplishment. I tell you guys, um, with shoulder injuries and sh shoulder operations, shoulder rehab is a lot more complicated, a lot more intense than something like an Achilles tendon. So everything becomes sort of in perspective to what you can relate with in your past. I think that's also the magic of going through difficult things is that it gives you a whole perspective of new difficulties that comes across your path. So the next time something bad happens, you'll be like, wow, okay, this, this isn't that bad. You know, I've been there. Um, I can't do this. It's, it's, it's actually encouraging then to see uh, the strength that you've gained from your previous difficulties. And I'm talking about physical difficulties. I'm also talking about emotional, mental um, difficulties that you go through on a road like this because there are many.
especially being a female in um, in professional sport, there are so many more um, mental and emotional difficulties that you deal with when you have got a goal like this in mind and when you are determined to reach that goal. So I'm really stoked that Every year at Udritz, I feel improvement and I feel more the direction on the right road um, with regards to my preparation. The speed sailing and um, Udritz speed challenge is a very, very technical sport. It really takes a lot of experience, a lot of preparation, um, a lot of knowledge and um, experience with the conditions. You have to get a feel with the wind. There's not room to have like two seconds of not having complete control over your gear. So you have to it's you have to maintain such high focus at the event. It makes it that much more intense and uh, I would say addictive and also rewarding when you can see on black and white in numbers how your performance is improving. So that's why speed sailing is such an integral part of my windsurfing career and journey and speed sailing in general right over the world of windsurfing is becoming one of the most popular disciplines since it's something that on the gps speed site everyone can compete in obviously we are so fortunate with ludred speed challenge and um, nowhere in the world speeds can be reached as high as in ludred because of the perfect wind strengths the consistency of the wind and obviously also the channel that is why I encourage you guys out there, anyone who is into speed sailing or windsurfing and who wants to give it a go, just try it once. I guarantee you, you'll be hooked. But you have to be able to work through all the dips and all the challenges that comes along with a very high impact sport. I want to say a big thank you to Raffaello Gardali and his amazing team who put in so many hours. This year, that channel it was in such perfect condition. And that's a really big factor to reaching high speeds. I don't think that the general public realizes what goes into getting that channel the way it is. It is not only a huge environmental challenge because you're dealing with so many elements in that harsh conditions with the strong winds and the tides. A channel like that is not something that you dig once and it stays like that. It has to be maintained. Otherwise, overnight, something moves, something shifts, the wall breaks through, the water level is not correct. Even a tiny little bit of sandbank from the bottom that is a bit higher, that can really cause massive crashes and big injuries. So I just wanna use this opportunity to say a big thank you to my husband, Shaw, and my mom and dad, who has been such a huge support for me during this event. Also my extended family and all my followers. Thank you so much to my amazing sponsors, AV Boards, Severn Sales, Gaswell Fins, Nashua, Paul and West Coast. And also, very importantly, the Ministry of Sport Western Cape. You guys have all been such a great support. I can't take on this journey ever um, for, if it wasn't for the role each and every sponsor plays um, along my journey. For me, the biggest positive this year was the only way to see whether your goal is within your reach is actually to put all in, um, go fully for it and see what happens. And so definitely within the first few days on the channel, I knew I'm on track. <laughs> so I'm really happy about that. And that is why I'm continuing to fight forward. And I will be back definitely in 2022 to continue this journey.